dear students we have reached into the last part of this particular unit 2 that is related to semi discontinuous replication this semi discontinuous replication explains about what is the mechanism by which the new strands of dna are synthesized there in an organism before going into its explanation video that explains about the mechanism of semi discontinuous replication was available in our subject web page mainly under the web resource that is quadrant 3 in the second unit you can able to see a lot of videos related to semi discontinuous replication under the serial number 4 i have provided the four videos you can look at roman letter 1 2 3 and 4 these four are different videos related to semi discontinuous replication of the dna molecule so you can go through and you can able to understand the concept easily by watching these videos in semi conservative replication of the dna molecule both new strands of the dna are synthesized discontinuously however simultaneously at each replication fork the mechanism of dna replication allows only synthesis of new strand in 5 dash to 3 dash direction then the question is among the two strands of dna that are anti parallel in nature how a parental strand that possess 5 dash to 3 dash end is being copied there that comes the role of a semi and discontinuous replication so before dna polymerase can synthesize new dna the pre existing double helix must be unwound that is with the help of the dna gyrase enzyme that removes the negative supercoil and exposes the template strands for the process of copying the zone of unknown dna where the replication starts is known as a replication fork an enzyme known as dna helicase unwinds the dna double helix and exposes it as a short single stranded region of dna this single stranded region in turn need to be complex with a special protein called as a single strand binding protein whose role is to stabilize the single stranded dna preventing the formation of a intra hydrogen bonds and reversion to the double helix now we start one by one what are the steps there in the replication process the dna synthesis is initiated in a region called the origin of replication it contains specific dna sequence of about 250 base pairs that are recognized by certain initiator proteins produced by the dna a gene initiation of dna replication then begins on the two single strands of the dna that has been separated by the helicase enzyme and protected by the single strand binding protein as replication proceeds the replication fork appears to move along the dna replication always proceeds from 5 dash to 3 dash meaning 3 dash to 5 dash parental strand is used as a template for synthesis of the new strand this is due to the fact polymerase adds nucleotide only to the 3 dash oh end of the growing nucleotide chain dna synthesis occurs continuously because of the fact that there is always a free oh group has been available there at the replication fork to which the new nucleotides will be added this is continuously synthesized strand and referred technically as a leading strand but the opposite to the leading strand is a lagging strand that is a parental template strand from which the dna is synthesized discontinuously and it is referred as a lagging strand this is due to the fact that there is no free 3 dash prime end at the replication fork to which new incoming nucleotides will be added therefore on the lagging strand of the dna synthesis rna primers must be continuously synthesized by the dna primase enzyme for multiple times main, mainly to provide free 3 dash oh group so that the new nucleotides will be added by the polymerase enzyme remember by contrast in the leading strand this particular primer addition is done only once at the start of the replication that is at the point of the origin as a result the lagging strand is made into short segments these segments are referred by the term okasaki fragment which was named after the 
discoverer Riji Okasaki. Commonly, the length of the Okasaki fragments in the lagging strand are always about 100 to 200 nucleotides in eukaryotes, but 1000 to 2000 nucleotides in the prokaryotic organisms. These fragments are further joined by the DNA ligase, that is the enzyme which functions at the final part of the DNA replication. So, by its activity, a continuous strand of DNA will be formed at the end of the replication process.